Hi and welcome back. Thanks for joining me. Now since I've been restoring dolls houses I've discovered there are two elements in this hobby. One is the actual restoration of the houses themselves and secondly is actually buying all the equipment and the parts to go into the houses. Now I'm actually restoring three houses at the moment. One of them is in progress so I'll do some videos on that to show you how I'm getting along later. But in this video, I thought you might like to see what I've bought to go in these houses. Now I've been bidding on uh, eBay job lot auctions and I've won quite a few. So it'd be great fun to have a look through the boxes, see what I've got and see what equipment will bear to go into which house. So I thought you might like to join me on this journey. What I'll do is I'll pop behind the camera and then we can go through the boxes and see what I've bought. Okay. Should we start the unboxing? This is the first box I thought we'd start with. It's actually quite a pretty box, isn't it? And let's have a look and see what we've got inside. Okay, let's see what we've got. We've got some chairs. These are rather nice, aren't they? Looks like we've got two of those. Very nice, beautiful mahogany colour. These look like they're one twelfth size. So they go nicely in the house that I'm restoring at the moment. So this is quite a cute little box, like a blanket box, isn't it? With a drawer. I'm always amazed at the detail that people make into these bits of furniture. When you think they're so tiny and they've got as much detail as a main piece of furniture. At least the one here looks to be a slightly smaller scale, doesn't it? Maybe that's a 1 16th scale, I think. Seems to be smaller, like the drawers on it are smaller. It's very pretty though, isn't it? Very art deco here. Lovely bit of furniture. But the uh, drawers and the cupboards don't actually open on that piece. And what have we got here? Oh, bookcase. It's rather nice, isn't it? Some of these look like they're new with the fact they're in their boxes, don't they? Let's see. Get them out of the box, sorry. I'm just taking them off camera at the moment. I want to come out of its box. <laughs> and uh, oh, yeah, lovely, lovely bookcase. There are some books on there on the shelves already. I'll probably make some more books and some more maybe ornaments to go along here. Oh, yeah, and a couple of lovely cupboards, too. It's quite big, isn't it? It's difficult to get in the shot. So, and what else have we got? Ah, oh, it's rather nice, isn't it? Like an office bureau chair. How lovely is that? Ah, wonderful. And then we've got, oh my goodness, look at the detail on this. Same sort of details you'd find on your own table in a kitchen or something, isn't it? Isn't it wonderful? Even the little uh, flaps here come up to extend it. That's amazing. Amazing detail and those hinges are just wonderful, aren't they? And we've got a clock, grandfather clock. Seems to be rather tall grandfather clock though, I have to say. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm not sure I can actually show it off in this video very well. It's so enormous. But uh, it actually stands as high as the bookcase. I'll show you that in a minute. When I move it over, we can have a look at all the sizes of them. Uh, what have we got here? We've got a, oh, that's rather nice, isn't it? Quite a fancy, like, little end table. Um, again, oh, a couple of drawers that open. Oh, amazing, amazing detail. Sort of mahogany, oh, sorry, mahogany colour, this one. Nice, right, so we got, oh, he's rather nice, isn't he? Nice chair there. Um, lovely, lovely fabric on the chair. Beautiful. I'll just move some of these empty boxes out of the way. And what else have we got? Oh, a bureau to go with the, uh, the bureau chair. Oh, look at that. Isn't that wonderful? Looks like all the doors open. And, oh yeah, little drawers as well. Goodness me. Wonderful. So with a little bureau chair, that's going to look really, really, really quite lovely, isn't it? A 
Goodness me, this box goes on and on and on, doesn't it? <laughs> what we got here? Oh, like a little flower stand, flower pot stand. It's rather nice, isn't it? Mahogany colour like the others, go nicely with it all. And then we've got, oh, like a, a dresser for the kitchen or the dining room. It's rather nice, isn't it, as well? And we've got, they all just open, don't they? The absolutely beautiful works of art. Let's see if we can get him out of his box. And there you go. Nearly at the bottom. <laughs> oh, another one of those chairs. I won't get him out because we know what the other chair looks like. And oh, it's rather nice, isn't it? Oh, the box is going to fall away. And that's rather nice, isn't it? It's like a a glass display cabinet. Oh, isn't that wonderful? So it's got a mirror at the back and little little drawers in there. Little shelves, sorry, little shelves in there. Isn't that wonderful? Right, okay, I should just move as much as I can into view so you can see what we've just summarised there. So we've got the chairs. Wonderful little table. I really like that. It's really rather lovely, isn't it? Or the bureau. <laughs> and uh, the little chair. We've got the dresser. Can we see the dresser in the video? Not quite. It's even a bit closer. Of course, that's a bit smaller, that one, isn't it? An enormously tall clock. Um, yes, I'm not sure grandfather clocks are quite that tall, but we'll see. <laughs> the little chair. And, of course, the... Uh, Blanket box, maybe I'll put them on the table, I'm running out of space in the view a little bit, aren't we? And a uh, little end table thing. So that's actually rather good fun, isn't it? All that stuff, all the stuff I purchased there. And uh, we'll now have a look at the next box and see what I've got in there. So I thought we'd look at the next box in my collection of things that I've been purchasing. And let's have a little look inside and see what we've got. So we've got a lovely rocking chair with a sort of weave effect seat there. That's lovely, isn't it? And lovely detail here along the back. Looks like we've also got another rocking chair. This one looks like it's going to need a new cushion made for it, but that's actually quite handy because it means that you get a good excuse to get your fabric out and you in your needles and make a new seat for it. And I always like that as an excuse to put it into a colour scheme you like as well. Now, I think this might be a tower rail. If it is, it's quite a large tower rail, isn't it? So it probably won't actually fit in my 112 doll's house that I'm restoring at the moment. I think it'd be too big for that, but it's still rather nice, isn't it? And then we've got a couple of chairs. Oh, look at the detail. It's amazing, isn't it? What detail they put on these little pieces of furniture. Same sort of detail as you get on real life furniture. I'm always amazed. The skill that goes into making these is absolutely astonishing. And then what have we got here? Oh, we've got a cot. That's nice, isn't it? Cot for the baby. This one looks like it's made of plastic, but it's still rather nice. Got a cushion under there. And where's the baby? Aha, uh -huh, here's the baby, I think. And, uh, Yes, he must admit, he looks a bit like a boxer, doesn't he? <laughs> Ready to punch someone, perhaps. <laughs> there we go. Pop the baby in there. How lovely. And then we've got, oh, a little baby's pram. Perhaps that's a dolly in the pram there. Look at the detail on this pram. They've got a wicker basket and you've got a bow on the back, handles, and even the wheels move. Isn't that lovely? I'm absolutely amazed at how wonderful they are. And then a the wooden table. That's actually very similar to the wooden table we've got in my doll's house that I've restored. It sits in the kitchen. And then we've got a blanket box. And inside the blanket box, oh, we've got a baby stummy. It's rather lovely, isn't it? Look at that. Maybe, maybe we should give that to the baby. And then we've got... A little soldier, like a toy soldier with his drum. Oh, 
Isn't that wonderful? And then we've got a skipping rope. <laughs> My goodness, look at that. Look at a little skipping rope. Well, it's difficult with my fingers in the way, isn't it? But look at that little skipping rope. Isn't that wonderful? And then we move on and we've got a little paint set. Isn't that wonderful? Look at that little paint brushes and uh, I guess they're called little spatulas, are they? That you paint with, or palettes, that's it. Palette, isn't it? Uh, so yes, you've got the little palette knife, a little cloth, and all the paints lined up there. Are they amazing? Absolutely amazing what people make. Oops. We've got a picture frame, or perhaps put a mirror in it to make it a mirror. Pop it on the wall, it's rather nice. Uh, oh, sewing machine still in its bag. It's rather fancy sewing machine, isn't it? Oh, even the the foot pedal moves, look at that. <laughs> and the wheel turns. How lovely. Absolutely wonderful. Oh, I really like that. That's really sweet. I really love my mum has a sewing machine very similar to that in her hallway. <laughs> Isn't it lovely? And then what else have we got? Oh, a brass coloured clock. It's rather nice, isn't it? A bit different size to the grandfather clock. We just looked at the other box. <laughs> And another, oh, sort of blanket box or toy box. Oh, there's things inside this one as well. Goodness me. So we've got a broom. So I'm handy if you want to do your housework. A bit like real life, really, isn't it? <laughs> and, oh, a little train set. How wonderful is that train set? Goodness me. We got a changing table. Isn't that lovely? Material on the top and it looks like someone's done this so it looks like tiles underneath like a changing table often is and a little drawer. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And then, oh cloth, I think that might belong in the baby's cot. And then last but not least, we've got a bed. So we've got a pillow and some sheets. Look at the pillow. Look, someone's giving it the detail there with a little bit of lace. Isn't that wonderful? Even the bed spread's got a little bit of lace around the edge as well. And a sheet to go over the top. Wow. This looks like it's made of metal though. It's a little bit different to the, to the cot, but obviously very similar to the cot in the way it looks. So they complement each other quite nicely, don't they? I'm just going to uh, move the box out of the way and then we can have a look and see all the things that we've got there. So we've got the bed, the changing table, the cot, boxes, blanket boxes, a couple of chairs. Chairs look a bit posh, don't they? <laughs> Compared to the rest of the furniture. A very large oh, tower rail. Couple of uh, rocking chairs, a lovely, lovely little paint box. I do like that. A brush, train set, uh, sewing machine table. Can you see the clock? Just about. And the table with the toys on it. So I hope you've enjoyed looking through that box with me. And we'll move on to the next one. Oh, believe me, there are loads. <laughs> so here we are on box number three. And let's see what we've got inside this box. So we've got this beautiful gigan fabric here. With a little heart button on it. So it might be bedroom furniture. What do you think? And I've got a little cushion with a lovely little uh, button there. Oh, and look at that. A little plate <laughs> with a couple of uh, shortbread men on. How wonderful is that? The detail people manage to put into their things. They are amazingly talented. We got, oh, look at that, a little rocking donkey, a little rocking horse. How cute is that? That's amazing. Goodness me, you can almost see little children trying to ride it, can't you? And uh, what do you reckon this is? A cup of coffee, probably. 
a candle, probably a cup of coffee, I think, because it's got the handle, hasn't it? It's quite large. So have a nice. Let's just move that lovely blanket out and then see what else we've got in here. I'm just going to move the box out of the way a little bit. Oh, look at that. You've got a lovely dresser. So, beautiful pattern on it. Absolutely beautiful. And the drawers are actually falling out, so I'll pop those back in. And you can see that the drawers have even been lined as well. Isn't that wonderful? They've been patterned like that with the mirror. Isn't that lovely? There was also something hiding in one of those drawers, and that was a little wristwatch. Look at that. Isn't that cute? And let's see what else we've got. Oh, looks like it's a matching wardrobe, doesn't it? Oh, let's see if we can get them out. Oh, lovely. Yes, a lovely matching wardrobe. To go with a little dressing table. Looks like the wardrobe's got a bit of damage here, but that's not a problem because I can get that fixed. Well, I'll fix it myself. <laughs> um, use a bit of a filler there and repaint it perhaps um might need to repaint the whole of it if i can't quite get the color to match but that's okay i can get it close enough um and let's look inside goodness me look at that isn't that wonderful so it's just like the sort of wardrobe you'd find in your bedroom isn't it beautiful feet on it as well so lovely pattern here the ornate along here let's see what we've got next Aha! Uh -huh. A little bedside table. Look at that. Isn't that wonderful? Ah, and there's drawers aligned too. Goodness me. And beautiful patterns on it as well to match the rest of it. Isn't that lovely? And what else have we got? We have got uh, what looks to be a bed, I think. Aha, uh -huh, yes, a bed. Make sure there's nothing else in there. Nope. Just move the packaging out of the way. And yes, we've got a bed. Look at that, isn't that lovely? And we've got a sort of pillow on the bed. Oh, and the bed's even got a underbed drawer. Look at that. Oh my goodness. So they've lined the drawer and there's lace on the drawer as well. Goodness me, how wonderful. Now I'm guessing, of course, that the bedding that we unwrapped earlier must belong on here, mustn't it? Goodness me, that's so beautiful. I'm not going to have very much to make on that, am I? Other than to uh, restore the wardrobe. But isn't that wonderful? Whoever's decorated this and made the bedding for it, it's done beautiful, beautiful work, haven't they? So, oh yes, look at the end of the bed. Look at that lovely detail there. And uh, lovely detail here underneath the cushion as well, look. Well, that's box number three done. I'm just going to move everything into place so you can see what we've got there. So we've got the wardrobe, the dresser, the chest of drawers, the bedside table, the bed, and then of course we had the little cushion, uh, the cookies, <laughs> oops, are they? So if you fancy a gingerbread man or a midnight snack, you're sorted. The little rocking horse, the watch, so we all know what time is, that's quite handy. <laughs> and uh, a cup of coffee to go with your gingerbread men. So that's a wonderful box, isn't it? Hope you've enjoyed that. And I'll see you for box four. So here we are on box number four. Now this is a smaller box, so it should take us less time to look through. And let's see what we've got. We have a lovely mahogany coloured table. It's a bit bigger than all the other tables we've had, isn't it? And then we've got these lovely spindles for the legs and the detail underneath much detail people put into this furniture is absolutely amazing i'm astounded by it it's almost like real furniture isn't it you can really enter the world of miniature here and then we've got a little armchair now the house i'm restoring at the moment is sort of like a i guess 1980s 1990s house so this furniture will go very nicely in there i've actually got uh 
a Victorian house. It's not a real Victorian house, like a mock Victorian house that I'm restoring to. And uh, some of the furniture that were on box will actually go quite nicely in the Victorian house. But I think this is obviously more modern furniture. So it'll go quite nicely in the 1980s one. We've got a sofa with two cushions. They're wonderful. Detail on these things are absolutely amazing. We've got the cushions and then the cushions at the back. I the seat cushions and the cushions at the back. And again, the little feet. Just move those in view. And then, oh, a little footstool. Wow, isn't that lovely? Beautifully made. So that's box number four unpacked. And I'll see you for box number five. <laughs> okay, so we're now on box number five. see what we've got in here. Oh yes, a little bedside table. It doesn't look like the door when that one opens. A bit more rough than the other ones we've had, isn't it? But it's still be very nice. I'll probably paint that one up and it'll look rather nice once it's all been painted. And a little, uh, oh, what do you reckon that is then? Seat box perhaps? See if we can work it out when we've looked at the rest of the furniture. Chest of drawers, very nice. This one, the drawers don't actually move. So again, a bit more rough than the others we've seen. But again, with a lick of paint or a lick of varnish, it would look very nice, wouldn't it? And this is sort of like plyboard material, isn't it? But uh, again, a bit more rough. So whether or not I use that, whether or not I take it apart and use the wood on something else will yet to be seen. Oh, like a little doll sort of bunk bed there, isn't it? So perhaps we could even put a little doll on there and make something quite cute out of that, couldn't we? A couple of chairs. No seats on these ones, so we'd have to make some seats if I wanted to use those, but that's grand because I actually really love making things for the doll's house. So good excuse to get my uh, needles on thread out and some fabric and make some seats for those. And then a wardrobe in the same sort of more rough style of the wood, isn't it? Again, they don't actually open. It's quite hollow on the back, as you can see. So quite a different technique how people have made this one. But again, a lick of paint and perhaps a bit of varnish will actually look quite nice, won't it? It's still a nice piece of wood. Nice detailing. And then we've got oh, a little dresser. Now this is obviously a smaller um, scale to the ones we've been looking at. So I think this is probably more like a 1 16th scale. So it's probably more like the scale that would go in the doll's house that I've restored already and I've done the video on. But it's uh, very nice. Obviously got a little bit of damage here, but we can... Uh, sort anything like that out, a bit of sanding and touch up, can't we? So, lovely piece of furniture though. Oh, a chest of drawers. Doesn't look like they open. No, they don't, they're firm in there. But again, nice piece of furniture. Bit of a darker wood, that one. Bit of more, oh yes, like, more like a sort of child's chair, isn't it? A bit more rough in the way it's been made, but quite cute. Oh, an even tinier chair. Goodness me, they get smaller and smaller. <laughs> it's not lovely though. Lovely little tiny chair. It's like a children's chair, isn't it? And then, oh, oh, even tinier chairs. I said they get smaller and smaller than they are, aren't they? Goodness me, look at this. Lovely, lovely, lovely little chairs. So uh, obviously, now I've got the small furniture, I'm going to have to do a smaller house, aren't I? <laughs> Enough. I have bought one that's a, a house to do up that's probably one sixteenth scale as well so these chairs might work on, in that but it's more of a modern style house so I'd probably have to paint these for it to work but that's okay now so if we got oh, a little trolley <laughs> same sort of style oh look at these little uh, oh I can't remember what these are called are they little lovers chairs perhaps you sit them Back to back, like that, perhaps, do you? Is that how you use these chairs? Aren't they lovely? Again, beautiful, beautiful detail. 
And they're cute. Oops, a daisy. Nice, have we got, oh, we got a, another lover's chair. Oh, and another one. So we've got a pair of lover's chairs there, haven't you? So, sort of two, four in total, so two sets. And then we've got some more little chairs. How many little chairs have we got in total? So four little chairs by lots of things. So those three plus the one I originally unpacked. And then some tables, quite a few tables actually. We've got two larger tables. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> Losing the camera there in my excitement, aren't I? <laughs> And then some smaller scale tables as well. Oh, that one's actually got uh, a different, that one there's actually got a different finish to it, hasn't it? So, uh, oh, I see, it's actually a different table altogether. It's actually got like a little drawer at the front. The drawer doesn't actually open, but a different scale and different style. And then you've got some of these tables. They're all the same. Looks like we've got uh, four of those. And then, oh, another one of those with the little drawer at the front. So obviously, these are much, well, these small furniture are much smaller scale than what we've been used to. Um, but I'm sure I'll be able to find some use for them at some point. Even just as like children's furniture, sometimes the small scale furniture can look really nice as children's furniture. So, um, yeah, yeah, I'll have a think about how I'm going to use this. It's not quite as obvious as it is for some of the others. Um, but nevertheless, it's still very, very nice, uh, nice collection of furniture. So that's uh, box number five, if I'm right in saying. So we'll move on to box number six. As I say, I've uh, quite enjoyed buying stuff, so we've got quite a few boxes. See you in a bit. Hi, and we now move on to box number six. Now, I did actually buy this specifically for the doll's house I'm restoring at the moment. I didn't have any kitchen equipment and was aware that I'd need something for the kitchen. So we've got a cooker. There with the hob, it's rather lovely, isn't it? The way they've designed this hob, and then the kitchen, the oven door opens. Oh, but the grill doesn't. Rather nice. And then we've also got kitchen cupboard. Is it? Oh no, the kitchen sink. Everything but the kitchen sink. <laughs> There we go, so the oh, door's open there to look inside the cupboard. And we've got the lovely kitchen sink here with the taps. Beautifully made, absolutely beautiful. And then finally, from White Insane, we've got oh, like a kitchen sort of corner unit there with the drawers as well inside. So when we put it all together, We'll get quite a nice little setup, won't we? So I guess you could put it like that so it goes around a corner. So you've got like a little owl shaped kitchen. Doesn't take up too much room, but it's quite sweet, isn't it? Okay, so let's move on to box number seven. See you in a bit. So following on from the kitchen, I thought we ought to have a look at the fridge before I move on. Now normally I buy second hand for the doll's house. I was struggling to find a second-hand fridge that I thought suited what I was the look I was going for. So I actually bought this new and um, it actually comes with quite a few accessories that go inside the fridge freezer. So we've got the fridge freezer here. And uh, open it up and we've got somewhere to put the milk and the vegetables. And then we've got a little freezer compartment at the top there, I'm guessing. And it's rather lovely, isn't it? Fridge freezer. But along with all of this, came some accessories too. So we've got um, pepper, carrot, broccoli, I'm guessing, bananas. Not that you want to put bananas in a fridge. <laughs> they don't like fridges. Um, oh, not, oh, yogurt, that is. Ice cream, milk. You can see the milk label on that side. And tomato ketchup. Aren't they lovely? Now, I did have to put the labels on these ones because the labels came separate it also came with some um 
little cardboard cartons for you to make. You can see here, you'll make, you have to sort of take these out and uh, make them into little like cereal boxes, I'm guessing. I started making one here, but I thought, well, I needed to get some sellotape and do it properly. And also, well, I work from home, so I was supposed to be working. <laughs> so I thought I actually ought to get on with some work while I'm fiddling around with my doll's heads. <laughs> so uh, anyway, they're rather cute, aren't they? So that's the fridge freezer to go in the kitchen with all the other equipment I've just showed you. And then we'll move on to the next box and see what we've got in there. So we now move on to box number seven. And this looks rather exciting, doesn't it? With all these wonderful things wrapped up in here. So let's see, let's dive on in and see what we've got. Something's just drawn, running out of that one. So, uh, oh, it's another dresser, isn't that lovely? So actually we've already got one dresser, but now we've got a second one, but that's fine because as I say, I'm uh, restoring lots of houses, so uh, I can find uh, uses for lots of these things. Again, beautiful design, little drawers come out, cupboards open, and then feet as well. Isn't that beautiful? And then, oops, a lazy. Dresser decided to fall over. <laughs> and then we move on to, oh, crockery set, a little tiny crockery set. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, I see, and the cookery set can go on the dresser. My goodness. Wow, isn't this wonderful? So what have we got? We've got a teapot with its little lid. Wow. And then we've got some plates, I'm guessing, and little cups, aren't they beautiful? Absolutely lovely. So we've got, how many cups have we got? I think we've got five cups, am I reading? Uh, yes, by the looks of things, so well, six cups in total, including the one that I've just uh, put down. So six cups and then probably six plates as well, I'm hoping to match, because I'm guessing they're probably... Oh yes, including the one I put on the floor, so six little plates. Fortunately, this one's obviously not, hasn't done so well with its print, has it? But uh, I'm sure it'll be fine. And then we have um they lost it then. Decided to go back in the box, didn't it? We have ah, a little milk jug. <laughs> Look at that. Very long spout on that milk jug there, isn't it? <laughs> and a little that's what do you reckon that is? Cream? Or is it somewhere you put the sugar perhaps? Isn't it cute little a bowl anyhow with two little handles. So isn't that lovely? Both of those are lovely. And that's a set as well. So I'm guessing you could put those on the dresser, couldn't I? And then we move on to our high chair. Well, lots of things. Oh yes, a very, very, very nice high chair. See, again, wonderful, wonderful detail going on there. So yes, we've got a baby, haven't we, in his cot at the moment, so uh, at times he can go into the high chair too, can't he? A little boxing baby, as we called him. <laughs> and what have we got in here then? Oh, rattles, what is it? Oh, I don't know actually, let's have a look. We've got, oh, a loaf of bread, <laughs> look at that. Oh, looks like someone's made that out of FIMO, do you think? Yes, it looks like Fimo. How wonderful. And then we've got a little plate oh, with an apple. Someone's been cutting into an apple and a little serviette. And, oh, sink. So we've got some taps there, haven't we? So for a sink, so I'm guessing in this box must be the rest of the sink somewhere. So let's have a little look. Ah, oh, look at that. We've got another one of those wonderful tables, haven't we? That we had before with the little levers come up there. Isn't that wonderful? A folding table with beautiful spindles again. I really do love these tables. They're very quite Tudor looking in some ways, aren't they? But they go beautifully in my Victorian house. Really looking forward to that. Uh, let's move that out of the way. Oops. And, oh, this looks like it might be the rest of the sink, is it? Oh yes, the rest of the sink, here it comes. 
then we've got the sink oh i see and then that will i won't do it now but that will um this, the basin will go on the top there isn't it so that's actually two uh of sinks i've got so um perhaps one will go in my victorian house and one will go in my 1980s house i must give my 1980s house a name so i can easily refer to it um so yes yes i'm not very good at thinking up names so i have to have a think and see what i want it to be um and then last but not least oh, two adorable little chairs look at that aren't they beautiful and there's another one here as well so i'm off camera at the moment I've sort of a, lost my place a little bit two lovely 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 little chairs look at that so of course they'll go quite nicely with the table won't they isn't that sweet oh again can't quite see it sorry let's move it back a little bit there you go so again we've unwrapped the sink oh the high chair which i've just realized this uh lever's up on that's rather good isn't it to get baby in and out Ah, uh, the beautiful, beautiful crockery. So maybe we've got time to lay out the crockery. What do you think? I quite like doing stuff like this. I find it all quite therapeutic, actually. So hopefully you will too. It's part of the magic of doll's houses, really, isn't it? Getting everything so it all looks lovely together. And then we got the plates. Oh, I'm not sure we're going to get it all on the table. Do I trust these? Little. Oh, yes, I think so. They're quite sturdy, aren't they? So, should we put some on that one as well? There we go. And then we've got the dresser, two. And then the loaf of bread. <laughs> and the little plate that someone's been eating from as well. Well, that's a amazing little collection in that box isn't it i think that's really quite wonderful all of that and i uh, hope you do too so i'll see you in a minute for the next box which i think is box number eight see you in a bit now you might have noticed at the beginning of this video we had some loose furniture out on some of the boxes so i thought we might have a quick look at this before we move on i'm not sure some of this is going to be quite so usable because it's a little bit on the large size but to be honest, the listing was such good value. I just sort of put a low bid in and uh, for some reason, no one else seemed to bid. And I got quite a lot of stuff for not very much money at all. So we've got a bed there. So of course I can make a lovely bedspread for that as well because it's just a piece of fabric stuck on. So it'd be nice if that was actually made into a proper bed. We've got a table, again, quite a nice wooden table there. Sort of more 60s style, isn't it? With that, uh, those sort of legs we've got a bath unfortunately the bath's seen better days it's lost its taps but i'm sure we can make new taps if we wanted to we might not need that oh we've actually got a, a sink as well so like an old victorian um ceramic sink it's rather nice that's very heavy <laughs> a little sort of quite traditional sort of doll's house sort of stylized uh, doll's house table there isn't it so um bed quite a nice style bed it's lost a couple of its uh, knobs there but again easily replaceable make some new bedspread for that as long as it's in keeping with the house we'll have to see because it might be a little bit on the large size have to see how it compares and again we've got another bed there a bit like the white bed similar design to the white bed isn't it so um but to be honest i quite like stuff like that because you can uh sand it down give it a lick of paint make some um, bedding for it and really transform it so i actually quite enjoy uh tackling this sort of really quite rough ones and getting something quite magical out of it again we've got some more of those little chairs very similar to the ones we had earlier might even be the same style as the little chairs we had earlier we've got four of those um a little what do you think that is table chair maybe it's a little stool to go with the table do you think could be couldn't it oh yeah looks like it just the one though and we've got this red chair it's a bit tatty to be honest a bit dirty but actually it's actually quite nice um it's quite heavy it's got uh metal legs there oh one of them's broken off so it's a bit wobbly at the moment but again we can easily fix that um 
Yeah, it's rather nice actually. So very heavy. <laughs> we got what's this? Do you reckon the sideboard? Oh, unfortunately, it's missing something from in here, so I'd have to get a piece of wood and make something there. But that's okay. That's certainly doable. Again, sort of nineteen sixties style furniture, isn't it? Oh, a dressing table. Now this is exactly the same dressing table as what I built into my doll's house. I've just restored. So this is a the same dressing table as I had for my childhood. So it's a little bit dirty. I haven't really cleaned it up since uh, receiving it. But uh, it's actually quite nice, isn't it? And a little stool um, to go with that. The stool was losing its fabric, but again, easily replaced and uh, re-varnished or painted. It'd be rather nice, wouldn't it? Um, another bed. So we've got beds galore here. Haven't we? <laughs> Not sure I'm going to need quite as many beds, but then I am doing three houses at the moment. And um, perhaps I even find that uh, buying doll's houses is another addition to this hobby because uh, I seem to enjoy restoring, buying the equipment <laughs> and the furniture and also buying the doll's houses. I've got three already to restore. Um, that's the one I already have done. So oh, I see this one. Oh, it does open. That's rather nice, isn't it? But the middle bits are... Oh, don't move. So yeah, again, 1960s style from here. So it's amazing what sort of bargains you can get, especially if you're quite happy to do a bit of restoring yourself. Um, yeah, rather nice. I'll see you for the next box. Before we move on to the next box, I thought I'd show you these. Now these are a little bit too large a scale for most of the houses I should be restoring. I've been going to car boot sales recently to see if I can find any doll's house equipment. And I picked these up and it's very difficult when you're not next to your doll's house to um, know what sort of scale you're looking for. So these are a little bit on the large size. However, one of my houses has actually got a bit of an outside to it. So it's possible I can actually use it outside as plant pots. Because, you know, sometimes people have plant pots in their garden that are like oversized um, pots, aren't they? So they might work out there. But I thought they were rather nice, actually. We've also got this tea set as well. I picked up at car boot sale. The man just had it all in a box, <laughs> thrown in together with loads of other stuff. So I went through his box, sorted out all the ones that fitted, that matched, and it went on this tray. Again, it's a bit big for a doll's house. I have to be honest, I didn't really um, know what scale I was looking for at the time. But again, this would actually probably look quite nice in a doll's house as like a feature piece or something like that. Um, out of context, it just looks like a nice pot, doesn't it? These, of course, look more like teapots, so I probably won't be able to use them on the scale houses I'm doing. But nevertheless, nice little set, nice little ornament for around the house, isn't it? Right, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so here we are. We're nearly at the end now. I think we've got another <laughs> three boxes to go. <laughs> so I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am, because it's been super fun from my point of view. So uh, let's see what we've got in this one. Aha, this looks like it might be the bathroom set. So we've got a bucket and a washboard, old-fashioned washboard there with some cloths and, a, oh, it looks like a bit of soap or something. Wonderful. And we've got an ironing pile. I'm sure most people can recognise an ironing pile. And I uh, appreciate that. It looks a bit like a home life, really, doesn't it? So we've got... oh. Scale, so yes, definitely some bathroom equipment in here, isn't there? Uh, oh, a beautiful, beautiful linen basket. Look at the detail on that. The little bows and the little hoops there. Oh, cool. it's really nice. I'd like one of those <laughs> linen baskets in my bathroom, I think. <laughs> oh, isn't that lovely? They're all a uh, pile of uh, sheets there. Very, very sweet. And uh, let's have a rummage in the box and see what else we find. Aha, a sink. Oh yes, definitely bathroom then. So beautiful sink there. Again, the quality, none of this is expensive. The quality you can pick up is absolutely amazing. And then we've got, oh, tower rail. Beautiful towels on them. Look at that. Look at those. Aren't they gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. Such detail. Beautiful. I really like them. We've got uh, oh, a toiletry 
a hamper. Oh, like a baby hamper. Look, we've got little booties there, a little dummy, and a boy and girl baby lotion there. It's rather cute, isn't it? Isn't that lovely? A little wicker basket and a bow on the front. Even this is like a towel material. <laughs> isn't that wonderful? <laughs> and we got, oh, another towel rail by the looks of things. Not as uh, fancy as the little one made of brass down there, but uh, still a nice little towel rail. It's quite clever how they've connected it together there, actually. So uh, springs open and close. Isn't that wonderful? And then we've got WC or toilet. Again, the detail on these are amazing, aren't they? Even the seat that comes up. I must admit to my uh, doll's house that I've um, restored from my childhood actually had uh, a pink bathroom suite and it actually had a little lever on the toilet so you can push it up and down. And I always thought that was highly hilarious when I was a child. <laughs> and uh, needless to say, one of my dolls was always sat on the toilet whenever I did it as a child so children do have such wonderful imaginations don't they and then we've got oh a sink and uh, oh look at that a lovely dressing gown my goodness how wonderful is that look at the dressing gown and even little matching slippers there <laughs> are they wonderful and the sink for the bathroom suite it's gonna be a very nice bathroom suite isn't this it's gonna Look very nice together. And then, oh yes, wonderful, a screen. So that's actually quite nice. Oh, I think it wants to open up more. How is that going to open? Ah, oh, just got a little bit stuck. And there you go, a screen. So that's why we're nice, isn't it? Someone's uh, cut that out of wood, all the detail, and put a bit of a sort of a I don't know, what's that? Some Muslim-y material on the back. Um, foil material to make it sort of semi-see-through. Isn't that lovely? And then I think the last thing in here is the shower unit. So let's unbox the shower unit. Let's box out the way. And look at that. That's rather lovely too, isn't it? So you've got the two doors that open, the shower head. Oh, looks like one of the doors a bit loose. I have to get that fixed. Uh, I would say I've been a handyman in, but no, I'll do that myself. <laughs> and we've got the shower head and the two little doors. Wonderful. So let's see if I can move everything back into shot so you can see what we've just unboxed there. You can see pretty much a lot of it, can't you, in the head of you already, actually. So, um, yeah, yeah, that's rather, rather nice, isn't it? All these uh, lovely things. Unfortunately, the ironing pile reminds me of our, our ironing pile at home. <laughs> but there you go. So that's a well, a nice little bathroom set there, isn't it? So uh, I think we've now got two boxes to go. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so here we are on the second to last box. Okay, the last box is uh, my lighting box. So um, it's not really uh, an unpackaging video as such. So this is like the last unpackaging video. So let's have a little look and see what we've got inside this one. Wow, already we can see it's quite detailed, isn't it? So we've got yet another dresser. Dressers are obviously very popular in the world of uh, dolls' houses. But look at how that one's been decorated. We've got the beautiful flowers. And uh, goodness me, like little, these even move. These little hooks here move so you can open the drawer. Isn't that wonderful? Absolutely wonderful. And then these little cabinets here open at the bottom too and then someone's decorated it with this beautiful sort of sparkly sequin pattern it's really really clever really striking and then we open up the glass cabinets up there as well that's really rather nice isn't it and then we've got the flower decoration on the top there as well so it all matches rather nicely I'll put that to one side and then we've got oh a table so yes definitely a matching set going on here so we've got a table that's been decorated with those beautiful flower motifs and uh, oh yes someone's put on sort of tile effect here haven't they to give that idea of it being tiled which is rather nice um, unfortunately it looks like we've lost um, one of the legs here hopefully it'll be in the box somewhere and today we can easily stick that back on 
seems to stand okay without it anyhow so that's the main thing and then looks like you might have a chair oh yes a chair to match in there as well so a lovely chair that's being painted in the same color scheme beautiful detail on the seat oh another chair of course because more than one person's going to want to sit down aren't they <laughs> there we go another little chair and uh oh there we go there's the mat or a rug go underneath the table that's rather nice isn't it it's been decorated similar style with the flowers on it whoever's done this is very clever wish i could take credit for it myself but no it came like this <laughs> certainly gives you ideas as to how you can decorate things though doesn't it now i've just seen the missing uh table legs so that's good so that can be stuck on quite easily get that fixed up and then oh this is heavy what's this this is oh look at that <laughs> an old-fashioned sink how wonderful is that oh if we turn it around we've got the tap and we've even got like soap bubbles in the sink wow and we've got plates with the soap bubbles oh and even a chain look at that can you see the chain in there and then the draining board where we've got brass pots and some crockery too and there was actually something loose when I went through this. So it looks like there's a, a brass cooking pot too. That's rather nice, isn't it? It's actually quite heavy <laughs> for something so tiny. It's quite a, quite a decent bit of a copper there. Huh? Or at least copper plate, I imagine. Oh, I see. And then uh, we've got, what's this then? Does this go in the, the copper pan, perhaps? Might do. That's rather nice, isn't it? We'll see. It can go. And here we are, we've got what looks to be, oh yes, a mangle, old-fashioned mangle. So this style seems to be a bit more old-fashioned, doesn't it? Especially with the mangle. So actually it would go quite nicely in my Victorian house, won't it, with the mangle and everything. So I should probably use this furniture in the Victorian house. So it's going to take me a little while to get to the Victorian house. Because um, I've got the 1980s house to do up first. Um, and that's quite a a major project but it's going to be great fun thinking about how to uh, how to do the Victorian house up as well so it looks like we've got oh, a fireplace gosh isn't this beautiful again very heavy lovely lovely quality and uh, you've got uh, a grate there and lots of things that perhaps maybe that sits on the fire does it so you could cook things over the fire like you would have done in olden days like that that's really rather nice again, again decorated to match the rest of it. And then you might have seen as well, I sort of took this out of the box when I was talking. So you've got this nice flower display here. They're plastic flowers that have been put in here. And I'd imagine that would sit on the top of the fireplace like that. So it's a rather beautiful feature, isn't it? So that's a really, really, really lovely set. So hopefully you can see it all in, in the camera there. So that's the last major box uh, to be unwrapped and I'm just going to quickly show you my uh, my lighting stash. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, so here we are on the last box. This is the box where I keep my lighting. Now when I did up um, my first doll's house, I actually um, decided I was going to put the lighting into it after I actually decorated the inside. But when I do the future ones, I should be putting um, the lighting in as I go. So I've got these ones here that can hang from the ceiling, which are rather nicely decorated, aren't they? Beautiful sort of stained glass effect there. Got some table lamps as well. Obviously need a little bit of TLC, but that's grand. Um, some more table lamps. Uh, just a lampshade on its own. Smaller one there, that's quite cute, isn't it? and sort of other bits and pieces for the lighting as well. Now what I've done as well with the lighting that I did put in my doll's house is I replaced all these bulbs here with LED lights. LED draws less power and are actually safer to run so I don't need to worry about running it um, if we're not here. I mentioned in my earlier video that I've got the doll's house in my window so it comes on during set hours. Uh, for the children of the village to see so it's uh, safer to leave the LED lighting on when perhaps I'm not here. Traditional lighting 
comes with these wires. So I basically take these wires off and put my own wire in, my own LED, and then put my own copper wire on, which I then can um, solder onto the circuit board that I'll put uh, in the house somewhere. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that video and seeing all the things that I've bought. I know I certainly have done. <laughs> I've forgotten an awful lot of what I've been buying. It's been so much fun doing eBay job lot auctions and seeing all the wonderful things that people have made for dolls' houses and all the wonderful things that people perhaps have restored, redecorated, like that lovely kitchen set that we looked at. People are so talented and it gives you so many ideas as to what you can do yourself. So I think that's pretty much me done for the unboxing video until I buy a load more stuff, but I'm holding off for now. Anyhow, I think I've got enough, don't you? So don't forget to stay subscribed to see what I'm up to next time. And if you've got any questions or just fancy a chat, pop it down below in the comments. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.